Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you guys from Swag Kage. This one called the most powerful Akatsuki ranked wrong edition. Now just by looking at the screen, considering that this is a CBR article, I think a lot of us probably know what to expect from this video. So, well not the video in itself, but the, uh, the list. So let's just go ahead and who knows, maybe we'll get to have some fun at seeing some stupid stupid cbr list so let's see what hey everybody how's it going swag kage here and today we're going to be taking a look at a cbr list uh this was linked to me by somebody on twitter and uh, let me go ahead and say i haven't actually looked at the list but okay. based on the other stuff i've seen from cbr screen mm, Rant, you kind of know what to like expect them, I mean, even if you guys don't know what the deal is with cbr i, I mean you, you probably know what to expect from a list like this like, mm -hmm. I, like I i think i have a pretty good idea of what i'm in for here and honestly i feel a little bit bad about engaging with it because i feel like most articles like this uh, where they're just like uh, presumably anyway filled with stuff that's just so outrageously wrong that it's like mm -hmm. come on man there's there's no way this isn't bait right? yeah like stuff like that it just feels really cynical so I now, mean to mitigate this I'm on some on some level you can you, you can't really blame someone for maybe not knowing everything about a series that's fine I mean there are different levels of fans you know there are fans who want to know literally every single detail about the series even some of the most what, what is it? Some of the most obscure detail about a certain character. And, but then there are fans who just enjoy watching it. Like, they don't really engage in, in the fandom or whatever, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But when it comes to articles like CBR or Screen Rant, you just get the feeling that none of these people are fans because they get so many things wrong. And you can't tell whether or not this is just from someone who's trying to cash in on the the popularity of the of the uh, the series, or if they themselves are just or if it's like he said, like this is just bait. Like they're purposely putting out wrong information because they know that a lot of people are just going to read it and they're going to get triggered and maybe they'll make videos which will bring more people to that website. Which by the way, don't go to CBR. Seriously, it's a terrible website. Do not give them the clicks because that's how they make most of their money. They make money off clicks, so just leave them alone. I'm tempted to, though I, I would never suggest this. You know, I, I considered it, but I thought, no, it would be very wrong of me to suggest that anyone who is interested in checking the list out uh, does so with ad block turned on. Uh, that, that would be really messed <laughs> up, obviously, so don't do it. It would make me very Yes, mad. don't anyway, um, do it. Now that we've got uh, all that intro stuff out of the way, let's... Uh, so let let me first. I guess I'll take a look at these like intro paragraphs. Uh, make through some to people. Also, I, I didn't even notice this, but uh, spoilers for the Boruto manga. I guess. Yeah, yeah trust me, I just definitely want. Not that anyone cares. I think at this guy. point. I mean it. Second order is made by Yon, uh, Nagato to carry on Madara's plan to fulfill. No, that that's that's incorrect. Okay. So, no. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, number fifteen, we got uh, Mr. Filler here, Juzo. Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, I, think, I mean, I, I didn't watch the filler of these, and so I don't know. This is probably yeah. This is a filler movie. character, so we don't really. Wait, leading off the most power isn't. Hold on. Wait, isn't yeah. Isn't this like all of Sorry. them? Sorry, I paused. Leading off the most powerful, off the most powerful of the Akoski is one that is an anime only member. Wait, I'm confused. I thought this was supposed to be from. Isn't this supposed to be like from? Let me let me see if I can go back and see at the beginning of the list. What's the what's the what's the title of this list? The most powerful Akatsuki ranked. So you would assume it's from weakest to strongest, and yet, leading off the most powerful of the Akatsuki, is the what? Wait, I'm confused. What is this? Leading off the most powerful of the Akatsuki. Is, is he saying this guy is the most powerful? Uh, I'm just really confused by this lead, by this be, by the Being beginning the statement. Isn't, hold on. Isn't this like all of them? If there's 50, there's got like, who's miss? There's no way anybody's missing, so I don't know. It's like, I'm, oh. okay, no, never mind. This is me being pedantic. I'm not, you know what, don't. But I mean, it's just a really weird, like you, like you say he's like leading off, but he's like he's at he's at the bottom. This guy is the worst, and you're like, man, he's so str like no, come on, whatever. Uh, so number fourteen, 
So this is where the list really starts, right? You know, no filler involved. We've got uh, Hidon here. Uh, yeah, I, I guess this makes sense. Um, everybody knows he's not really that tough. Uh, he's just carried by his immortality gimmick. But it's, like, really weird that they're, like... Like, he's at the bottom, and they're hyping him up like he's really strong. Granted, this isn't, like, super effective. They're like, it takes Shikamaru a whole lot of planning to beat him. And it's like, what? So, I don't know. May maybe they're dunking on Hidon here. But, like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not. I think this is supposed to be hype and, like, you know, whatever. Uh, so, number 13, we got Daedara. And, like, so let's think. Um, obviously, Daedara isn't, like, at the top. I mean, I guess, like... If the rest of the list made sense and this was like the only thing that seemed like you know out of pocket from them i wouldn't hold this too far against them because data is definitely towards like the lower end but like second weakest not counting not not counting filler of course uh, second weakest let's see what they have to like they're just they're just hyping him up they're not explaining why he's down so low i don't I don't even know what to say. This, this paragraph's pretty weak, though, by the way. Like, even Naruto, who grew up to be incredibly overpowered, resorts to talking things out with... I don't think... That's not true. D Data is one of the, like, only people who Naruto, like, explicitly doesn't talk no jutsu, right? Like, Daedara has to... Well, he has to totally up, uh, commit suicide in an attempt to kill uh, Naruto, Kakashi, and Team Guy. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, like, I think, like, this whole time, Naruto was just in, like, rage steroid QB mode, so... Also, just want to point out something real quick. Uh, this sense right here, he's able to take on both Gara and Sasuke on his own when they are both learning some of their best skills. Okay, first of all, this sentence right here can be very misleading because saying he's able to take on both Gara and Sasuke on his own could lead someone to think, wait, are you saying Daedra could fight Gara and Sasuke on his own? Like both of them together? Or is he saying he can take on Gara? Like you see, if he said both Gara or Sasuke on his own, that would make sense. But saying Gara and Sasuke on his own can make people think that you're saying that Daedra can fight Gara and Sasuke on his own no problem which that's not the case like he took on sasuke and he had to resort to basically killing him and gara i mean he had to resort to basically tricking him in order to be able to beat him essentially so no i in both cases data was data barely survived in both cases like he had to find intelligent ways in order to beat them and yeah this is just completely wrong even Naruto grew up in the power results to telling this out with it now with Daedra like I mean, Naruto usually tries to rely on talking to Jutsu but even Naruto realizes that some people just realize that yeah they need to go number 12 Conan uh th okay yeah th I keep getting ahead of myself we'll get there in a second <laughs> yeah, okay yeah we'll get there um yeah, I guess. I mean, Conan's mm. definitely toward the bottom, so... But, like, above Daedara? Yeah, I don't know if I'd put her I, above Daedara. I, I mean, about that. Like, yeah. I, she did get done up by base Jiraiya. Again, so this... Well, then again, base Jiraiya is no scrub. We gotta remember that, but... Yeah, I don't... Mm, see, I don't know. I feel like Daedara might be put up... Look, this isn't any... This isn't a knock against Conan. And someone might say, well, she did fight Obito, and Obito is one of the strongest. Well, then again, you have to remember, Conan had a lot of prep time. And Obito, you could say, a little kind of underestimated her, to the point where he had to resort to sacrificing a Sharingan in order to use the, uh, the Izanagi in order to be able to get the jump on Conan. But then again, I feel like that's, like I said, it's mostly attributed to Obito being overconfident and Conan getting a lot of prep time and knowing how his Kamui works. So, personally, I feel like if it was a one-on-one -on -one fight, just straight up, no BS or any of that, I feel like Obito would destroy her easily because, again, I feel like a lot of people kind of underestimate Obito. And so, so yeah, personally, I would say Conan, I don't know if I would say she's above Daedra. I, I guess that's up for debate. I guess it depends on who you ask, but 
Uh, okay, so let's just move this on. This isn't like a huge deal, right? You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna scold him too hard for like having Conan ab above Daedra. I guess. Well, I don't know. Maybe should I? Like, I guess it's not like if you're a casual viewer, and you're just like, yeah, I think Conan could beat Daedra. It's not like, then I wouldn't be like, yeah, your article's like bait, and I think that uh, you're, you're like, saying wrong things on purpose. So Conan, okay, so I mean, like, I'm. Sorry, Conan is one of only two Akatsuki members to survive the first iteration of the team. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? She also ranks incredibly high in the organization. That doesn't necessarily mean in terms of power. It could just be because she's close to Nagato. Even if the members like to think they are equal in their pursuit, she is, after all, Payne's advisor and right hand. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean it's because she's strong enough to be his right hand. It's because she has a close relationship with Nagato. Conan's not stronger than Datara, but... I and again, I'm not saying this means Conan is weak. I just I don't think that them someone saying that just because she was Nagato's right hand doesn't necessarily mean it's because she was strong. Like I said, she had a close personal relationship with Nagato. I think that's the main reason why he wanted her close. And I think she's the only one who kind of knew about Nagato, about what he was really like. You know that thin skeleton thing that he was in. That which, which he turned into after being attacked by Hanzo. It like, like if this, again, like I was saying, if this is like the only bit of cap that they have on the list, then like I probably like won't upload this video because it's not worth. Well, I, I was gonna say I won't upload this video, but I know because I kind of I snuck a peek at, at uh, the person who's yeah. next. Uh, that this, this is gonna get a bit more interesting in a second, but this isn't like I mean it's wrong, but it's not like like that bad and wait what are you talking about she's literally the the fourth weakest member and you're like but she's one of the strongest members the akatsuki ever had like if we don't count the filler guy she's literally bottom three and you're like yeah man she like i i don't know it's the <laughs> the way this article is written is very confusing but okay here here's no okay. okay okay here's where we get so, to the problems what on earth is Kabuto doing in this position? Yeah, Kabuto's it's not like, a member of the Akatsuki. The, okay, I almost saw who they have at number 10, but I, but I didn't <laughs> quite. So, if Kabuto's like like part one Kabuto, look, or like, like... Look, he's even talking about how it's debatable whether or not Kabuto was officially mem a member of the Akatsuki. If, if, if even you're saying it's debatable, then dude, it, he shouldn't even be on the list. Also, why do you have a picture of Part 1 Kabuto? Dude, Part 1 Kabuto would lose to every single member here. Like, pre-Orochimaru Snake Boy Sage Kabuto. Then, he goes, like, like below Daedara, right? But if you're using Sage Kabuto, he should be at, like, the, the fucking top yep. of the list. This is just yeah, Sage such Kabuto's a weird pretty damn position strong. for him. Like, barely above Conan? Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I could see you, like, because he was, like, compared to Kakashi, and, like, he did beat Tsunade, I could see maybe why you would think he's, like, above these two, but the, I don't know, man. Like, he was pretty scared of uh, Sasuke, the same Sasuke that, like, you know, Daedara nearly killed, so... But 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 any but anyway so um the, the the more important thing is like even if they are talking about that cop like the Kabuto that's pictured here which I imagine they are I, yeah actually they definitely are talking about this Kabuto uh, but even if you are talking about him that's incorrect because that's not the Kabuto who is a part of the Akatsuki like when when he went to Obito to like work with him he like he he was wearing the snake cloak and he had all the Edo Tensei summons ready so this I don't know this let's see. Uh, it's debatable whether or not Kabuto was ever officially a member of the Akatsuki. I mean, he was. Uh, while working <laughs> under Orochimaru, however, he definitely infiltrates their ranks. So he I, I don't know. I still don't know if I would say he was ever 100% officially a member of the Akatsuki. I mean, yeah, he worked with them in the 4th uh, Great Shinobi War, but personally, I wouldn't necessarily say he was like an official member of the Akatsuki. I think even Obito realized, like, yeah, dude, the only reason why you're here is because of because you pulled out that, you pulled out fucking Mara. Like, dude, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even have you anywhere near me. Like, I would just kill you right then and there. And also because you were useful because you offered to use the Edo Tensei. So, I don't know. Personally, again, I, I feel like, I, I do agree that it is debatable whether or not Kabuto was ever officially a member. So, 
I don't know. I guess it just depends on who you ask. Who makes this list? Wait, like, so this is henchman Kabuto? But then he's, he's, he's not a member of the Akatsuki. Oh, he's okay, like so he is talking about reverse, part one. a reverse, like, double-cross sleeper agent that's specifically working against them. Mm -hmm. Well, he's actually at his strongest after his time with the Akatsuki. Okay, okay, never mind. So they're definitely talking oh, about, okay. like, well, that, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely... Wait, 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 let, let me read this. have to have him above Datera, but... Uh, well, he's actually at his strongest after some of the Akatsuki. He proves himself incredibly capable of attacking on Shinobu. You should be able to work before with him over and over again. Is he talking about Itachi and Sasuke? He's a survivor and he'll grasp at any powerful technique he can to make it alive. Well, okay, see, here's the thing about the fight between Itachi and Sasuke versus Kabuto. While I do agree that Kabuto did put up a pretty good fight, especially considering the fact that he was using Sage Mode, and we know for a fact in this uh, universe when you stack sage mode on top of your base it does make you incredibly powerful the only thing i will say about this fight is that again i feel like a lot of people forget that sasuke and itachi were not being 100 percent serious in that fight remember itachi specifically told sasuke you cannot kill him because we need him to undo the edo tensei so itachi and sasuke from the beginning while i won't say they would have had an easy time doing it i do feel like kauta would have put up a good fight but at the same time, we have to remember they were uh, holding themselves back at least a little bit because they had to work to make sure that they weren't going to kill him. Like they weren't using some of their more deadly techniques. Like we know Ita Sasuke, who became an almost ins insane master of Blaze Release, and we already reacted to a video on this channel where. Uh, Swag himself even talked about Blaze release and how powerful it was. Considering that Sasuke could have used it against Kabuto, and I do feel like it would have killed him. And because of that, they had to work harder to, you know, hold themselves back from killing him, both Itachi and Sasuke. So just, I feel like th that does need to be put into the debate when it comes to Sasuke and Itachi versus Kabuto and how well they did and all that stuff. It, this Kabuto, whatever. Okay, yeah. yeah I, whatever. This Kabuto wasn't an Akatsuki member. Ah, oh, sorcery. Um, sure. Okay, so again, putting sorcery over Kabuto. Which Kabuto are they talking about? Part one Kabuto. If that's the case, then yeah, I agree. But if we're talking Sage Kabuto, then no, not even close. Like, dude, sorcery wouldn't stand a fucking chance against. Sage Kabuto, not even close. I, I was about to just scroll down and see who was above him to see if I could find any issues with him being at number 10. What is Itachi doing here? Well, yeah. What are you... Hold on, Itachi Sasuke Uchiha's older brother, and he had assassinated his old clan to save his brother, not on his own, remember. Uh, long before joining the Akatsuki, he was a member of the Anwa as an assassin, alongside another Uchiha member named Shisui, who was killed by Donzo. Donzo gave the order for the Uchiha clan to be white. Okay, well, what does any of this have to do with why Itachi is placed at number 9? Itachi has some of the most formidable ocular jutsu of the Akatsuki. See, he, he should have just put this, like, just to, to, dude, take this out, take this out, this isn't necessary. I'm pretty sure almost anyone going into this list already knows who Itachi is. Or if you do want to give a brief introduction to who Itachi is, just like one or two senses, dude. One or two senses that give you a brief explanation as to who this guy is. Capable of using the Tsukuyomi, which can generate a Genjutsu world in which he can control of all of matter, space, and time, creating infinite copies of himself. He can use the Susano, in which he can seal people away with it. And he can control fate itself using the Izanagi and the Izanami. Okay... But that still doesn't explain why he's only number nine. Considering, uh, again, I feel like, okay, yeah, all of these techniques do make him formidable, but I feel like he's not going into enough detail about why Itachi is so goddamn powerful. Remember, we are talking about the guy who was able to hold off KCM1 Naruto while having a conversation with him. Like, rem remember that. I feel like a lot of people do tend to forget that when it comes to power scaling Itachi. Yeah, they like. I mean, so this is kind of incorrect. Like he can't, he can't use Izanagi, but th th that. Oh yeah, yeah, not Izanagi. Izanami, he can use Izanagi. He can't, even though that doesn't really make a lot of sense because 
it was stated that only people who have both Uchiha and Senju DNA can use the, these abilities like Izanagi and Izanami, abilities that can basically control reality in some way, shape, or form. Well, Izanami is a little bit different because it puts someone, it imbues someone in, in sort of an unbreakable genjutsu that, uh, that you know, can only be broken out of if, you know, uh, you meet certain conditions. Izanagi, however, is an ability that does kind of sort of rewrite reality, you know, and it is related to the sage's like creation of all things ability to where he can just create things out of nothing. So even though I, I am sort of a little bit confused as to why someone like Itachi could use Izanami, even though it's a pretty overpowered ability, uh, Itachi did say it was the counterpart to Izanagi. So you would think that, and again, just like the Izanagi, if you use Izanami, it completely, it's, it, it requires you to sacrifice your Sharingan. And I just, I don't understand why, why it, why you need to send you implants for one and not the other. It's, I, I feel like that's, that, that's, that was a plot hole on Kishimoto's part. That was an inconsistency on his part. That's like me again. Like that's me being kind of pedantic, but that's not the problem here. They just they just like list off like all of the like busted stuff he can do, and then they're like, yeah, he's probably just like barely above sorcery. Like what is? Mm -mm, there's mm -mm. no way. There's no way this is a serious list. Wait. Okay. So Itachi being number nine. So we've seen sorcery. We've seen Hidan. We've seen Deidara. We've seen Conan and the filler guy. Was was there anyone else? Oh yeah, Kabuto. So, is he saying that Kakuzu, Zetsu, uh, Obito, that's debatable, Pain, okay, I can kind of understand, uh, well, eh, again, that's debatable, uh, who else, Mara, okay, Mara, I can kind of understand putting him above Itachi, that, okay, I can kind of understand, uh, who else, who else is left? God, who am I blanking out? I, I, I don't know if he's going to count Orochimaru, but even that, that's wrong. Itachi is stronger than Orochimaru. Uh, who else? Who else do we have? Uh, let's see, that's six. Uh, wait, I think that's all of them, right? Six, 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 yeah. No. No, no, it's not. You know what? I Again, the fact that he's going to say that Kakuzu is above Itachi is wrong. Orochimaru above Itachi's wrong if he's on the list. Uh, who was it? Uh, what was left? Uh, Zetsu, no, not above Itachi. I'm sorry. There's no way. Like, what? It, he's. They don't even. Kisame is not even. He hasn't even shown up. Oh, yeah, up Kisame. Yet. I forgot he saw what Kisame. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Uh, man, this, is, <laughs> this caught me off guard. Like, Oh my God! Okay, let's let's go and see who. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that Pain's this low at, it, with Itachi, but like they put like like two of the the top three like. Wh Whoa, man! CBR, what are you doing? Pain is the animated corpse of Yahiko. That no, that's that's not correct. Um, Pain possesses a projection of Nagato's running gun. No. Okay, so maybe maybe they just worded this wrong. I don't know if they think that pain is just Tendo pain, and that Tendo pain is the one that controls the other pains, or if they recognize that, because it's, it sounds like they know that Nagato controls him, and that he controls the, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too deep into this, but like. Also, I don't know if you could call Nagato technically, his last name is not Uzumaki, we never actually learned what his last name is. I do know where this is coming from. It's when Tobirama said that the red hair is like a signature of the Uzumaki clan. But then again, not necessarily. I mean, I think if I remember correctly, there was one panel in the manga, or I don't know if this was just in the anime, where we saw some members of the Uzumaki clan and they didn't have hair. So I guess it would depend that maybe one of, either one or both of his parents are indeed from the Uzumaki clan. And they had the red hair, and Nagato just inherited the red hair from them. So technically, he would only really be half Uzumaki. You know, kind of like Naruto. 
uh, no, I think it was, if I remember correctly, I think it was his dad that had the red hair, and Nagato inherited from him. Kind of like how Naruto inherited his dad's blonde hair instead of his mom's red hair. Hmm. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I would necessarily... I, I, I guess it would... I mean, I can understand why someone would think his last name would be Uzumaki, but I don't think it was ever officially stated that his last name is indeed Uzumaki. I think it was... He has connections to the Uzumaki lineage, but... Hmm. They, they mention the six pads, right? They mention the six pads right here, but then they explicitly say that he's the animated corpse of Gahiko. Pain is not... No, no. This is not pain. No. This is Tendo pain. It's all six of there them. There are five other pains who are all like like one entity. That's how pain refers to himself. Like, he, he, like we are pain, right? Yeah, like like this pain can't do like all of, all of this stuff. But But even if... So, like, even if we give them the benefit of the doubt, and we're just like, oh, yeah, they thought that, that Pain was just, like, the one body, he's still, like, Tendo Pain by himself is still higher than number eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, right. I, I feel like a lot of people underestimate just how powerful uh, Tendo Pain actually you was. Know, you know, <laughs> what? You know who we, you know who we haven't, we haven't seen make an appearance yet? That oh, no. boy Kakazu did that. Is he? Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. So, okay, okay, hold on. Hold on a second. I no. really, really, really hope my video, like the one where I was talking to Parrot about this, is the reason why they have him here. Like, I really hope that whoever wrote this article was just doing some, like, you know, just, you know, going to Google. Like, uh, who would win Kakuzu or Pain? And then, like, they they, find, they they see my video here, and then they're like, oh, uh, looking, and then they're like, oh, I see it would appear that uh, Kakuzu could beat Pain. Hmm. Okay, very, uh, very interesting. And then they, like, went back to their Google Doc, and, like, I hope that's what happened. That would be awesome that would be so cool okay let's see i mean like it's so it's really hard to like work through this person's thought process and like understand like hold on i just saw this 10 characters that are 10 tails level okay i know i don't usually do these videos but if you guys want me to do that if you guys want me to cover that list just let me know just let me know in the comments if you want me to go over that list because considering this is cbr oh boy oh boy oh boy would i love 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 to see their list because it's got to be Otsutsuki members only. Well, most of them at least. Because there's barely anyone out there that's actually Tentails level. And let's not remember, or, let, or excuse me, let's not forget that not all the Tentails are the same. Remember, the one we see in Boruto now is not the same as the one we saw in the fourth grade Shinobi War. Like what? Like why they they place these characters this way? Because like every time they're just like, yeah, man, this person was so strong because they could do A B C D E F G X Y and Z. But then they like don't like say, but you know that the reason they're not higher is because uh, they're not you know quite able to make the cut against people such as you know uh, Konkazu, uh, who is uh, multi continental. He's so. What is under normal circumstances? Because Kakashi literally, like, stabs him through the heart. Does it mean, like, Kakashi was only able to damage him with, like, Raikiri by, you know, because, like, Earth is weak to, to lightning? Because, I mean, like, that's still normal circumstances. Pretty normal for Kakashi. Incapable of damaging him under normal circumstances. That is not true. It's not even close to being true. To use a lightning jutsu in a fight. Right? I don't, I don't know. Who we got next? Okay, so like I was saying earlier, bro, we got Kisame above Itachi, which is, I mean, also above Pain. Pretty, pretty whack. No. Like this, okay, okay, never mind. Uh, we're gonna get there in a second. I, so, um, I think it's like universally agreed upon by like everybody that Kisame is definitely not stronger than Itachi. Like, I'm 
I, I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody thinks that Kisame is, is, is higher here. So, yeah, I, I think that this validates my hypothesis that this is a bait article. Because, mm -hmm. like, like, who, like, actually sits down and watches Naruto and, like, 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 whether you're a casual fan or a hardcore fan gets the impression that Kisame could beat Itachi. Also, wait, hold on a second. The old Samehata guy didn't... He didn't kill himself? Kisame killed him and, mm -hmm. and stole Samehata. Yeah. What are you talking about? Where did it... <laughs> Whatever. Um, hold so on, hold on, hold on, pause for a second. Kisame is known as the tail that's tail, but known to have both chakras of the power of a tail beast. No. No. He doesn't have the power of a tailed beast. This, yes, correctly. The, the reason why they call him the tailless tail beast is because he's the only one that doesn't have, a, that isn't a Jinchuriki who has the chakra reserves of a Jinchuriki. That's why they call him the tailless tail beast. Because Jinchuriki are known to have incredibly high reserves of chakra because of the tailed beasts that are sealed inside of them. He, he doesn't have the power of a tailed beast. I'm sorry, but he doesn't. I have a Zetsu. Um. <laughs> no. I, I. Do we even need to explain this? I feel like it's kind of obvious that this person, whoever wrote this, either has no idea what the fuck they're talking about, or it's like Swag said, this is just bait. Like, there's no way this is being. This is. There's no way this person's being serious. Yes, you could argue that, like, he stabbed Madara, so, like, sure, but I, maybe I could give this a pass, but then, like, okay, so. Here, here's here's the thing about that suit. Like, if you really okay, hold on. He actually wrote the prophecies on the Uchiha stone to set in motion the events that lead to Madara passing on his wishes to Nagata, so he can create the Second Order or the Akatsuki. No. No. Set events that led to Madara passing on his wishes to Nagata, so he can create the Second Order of the Akatsuki. No, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Okay. First of all, wrote the prophecy on the Uchiha stone. No, that's not the case. Hagoromo is the one who wrote on the Uchiha stone tablet. He wrote them a warning about the infinite Tsukuyomi and Kaguya. Zetsu found it and rewrote it to basically be what Mara would eventually see, that only by combining the power of the Uchiha and the Senju can one attain true happiness and that's so again i'm paraphrasing but it's basically the thing that ends up convincing mara that only by again basically what hagoromo was trying to say that it's only when the uchiha and the senju choose to work together can true harmony be achieved that's basically the message that hagoromo was trying to pass down throughout the generations that you have to work together in order to be able to achieve true peace because when you work against each other that doesn't create peace that creates chaos and disorder Z zetsu or black zetsu specifically rewrote it to basically convince mara that you need to have the that combining the power of the uchi and the senju can give someone the power to attain true peace madra didn't pass on his wishes to nagato Madara came up with this plan of the infinite Tsukuyomi, but he realized that he couldn't continue forward with it on his own, so he left it up to Obito. Obito, who then convinced Nagato and, uh, by extension, uh, what was his name, Yahiko and Conan, to start the Akatsuki. It was all done so that uh, eventually Obito and then everyone else in the Akatsuki would gather the tailed beasts in order to recreate the ten tails because you need the ten tails as power to create the infinite Tsukuyomi and then Obito the whole plan was for Nagato to eventually use Rene Rebirth to bring back Madara and then him and Obito can commence with the infinite Tsukuyomi after they've gathered all the tailed beasts that was the plan again this I want to, like, unironically, like, make the claim that he should be, like, like six paths level because he, like, stabbed Madara. No. Then he should be, like, like near or above Madara, right? I don't, I don't think he's four spots uh, above Itachi, but, um, 
That aside, like, if you do think he's, like, moderate level, then shouldn't... Zet Zetsu looked at Kakashi and Minato, and the only reason why he stuck to Obito, because he knew the second he separated from him, they would kill him. The only reason why he stuck to Obito is because Kakashi and Minato didn't want to kill Obito, even though that doesn't really make any sense because he cast Rene Rebirth and that should have killed him already. Zetsu even said the only reason why Obito is even still living is because he was attached to him. So it's like, if, if they knew Obito was going to die eventually, you would think that he would be okay with, hey, um, since I'm going to die anyway, just, just, just stab me through the heart, just kill me. So you can kill this guy, which, again, that, that's something that I, I, I really did like when that happened, if I'm being honest. Who, who even is left, anyway? <laughs> what are you talking about? Why? <laughs> Why is Orochimaru all the... No, Orochimaru would not defeat... Itachi in a fight that would no. that would not happen. As a matter of fact, we've uh, we don't even have to ask what would happen if they fought because we've seen it. We and saw so it. Shimaru got one shot uh, twice. And he says that his knowledge of sh uh, ninjutsu is what apparently makes him strong. Itachi literally told him verbatim, "No matter what jutsu you use, my eyes can th see through it." Hell, Orochimaru said the only reason why he went to Sasuke is because he knew he couldn't do anything against Itachi. Orochimaru literally said that. Also, he says it's hard to permanently put him down. Well, okay, I guess that's true, but that still doesn't mean that he's stronger than Pain or Itachi or Kisame or... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You can see number three, Obito. Uh... I still, I don't know, I don't know if I'd put, I, I guess it depends on which Obito you're talking about. So Obito up here, yeah, you know, this makes sense, so, yeah, they got Madara. Madara, okay, yeah, this. Um, who's number Who one? Be... Shin? Like, what? I mean, like, Stop. I guess. No. Probably not, because he did get beat up by Sakura, but it, this is a fair assessment, I guess, especially if you're talking specifically about, like, base Madara, even though they're using Base Madara, even then, I don't know, base Madara was pretty damn strong, like, it took someone like Hashirama to put him down, I don't know, I, even though I do believe that adult Sasuke and adult Naruto could easily take out both Hashirama and Madara, if I'm being honest, like, they're that strong. Base Madara is still no joke, and no, I wouldn't say Shin is above Base Madara, if I'm being honest. I, I guess it's debatable. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we did just watch a video from Swag. Well, I say just. By the time you guys see this, it will have already been a month since that video already came out. In fact, by the time I'm recording it, that video has already been out for a couple of days. Uh, we where we talked about how adult Sasuke, uh, excuse me, adult Sasuke, adult Sakura could take on Valley of the End Madara. Be, remember, I'm being specific. I'm talking Valley of the End Madara, not reanimated Madara, not uh, Six Paths Madara. No, she she doesn't do anything against that that guy. Valley of the End Madara is still strong, and all I'll say is that while I still believe base Madara would win. Or Valley of the End Madara would still win in a fight. The fact that Sakura could put up a fight against him does show you how much she's approved from the Fourth Grishin Obi War. And to me personally, Shin beating her, I would say, doesn't really say much because at the time you have to consider that Sakura, while she's still strong, you also have to remember. It is kind of hinted, now it's never really stated, but it is kind of hinted that she hasn't really been in the field for a long time. So you could say a lot of her battle instincts have kind of dulled a bit. Since she is mostly focused on being a medical shinobi and focusing on, you know, improving her skills as a medical, as a medical uh, shinobi. So, yeah, uh, I, I mean, I guess you could say that maybe 
the last Sakura, you know, Sakura from the last would probably do a better job against Shin since she's still, you know, Shinobi, she's still going out on missions and actually fighting as opposed to when she's an adult and she's staying mostly in the village and running the hospital and doing all of that. So I don't know. But yeah, uh, Madara Uchiha, even though they are talking about the... Uh, no, I would say Madara kills Shin easy. Easy. Like, it, it, not even... He, he wouldn't even be able to put up a fight. Especially if we're talking Ten Tails, Madara. Yeah, no, Shin Shin wouldn't be able to do a thing. No, I, this is wrong. Madara should be above Shin Uchiha. And first of all, why is Shin even on this list? Like, he was never really an official member of the Akatsuki. He only just gave himself that title. Uh, but... Um, I don't, yeah, this list is not good. The big, the big issue, like, I don't care about this nearly as much as I do about, uh, Orochimaru. Sorry, I just want to focus on something real quick. Let me just go back, see if I can find it. Uh, no, no, let me go back a bit. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Shin was a threat to Naruto and Sasuke. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Even based on Archer Sasuke are known to be able to single-handedly defeat everyone in the Shinobi world by themselves. The Shinobi is also stated to be a threat to the whole world. Eh, not really. And Archer Sasuke also took on Momoshiki shortly after he created a parallel universe with his own power. What? No, he didn't. Who was feared immensely by Kage. Okay, yeah, that's true. On sheer statistics alone, he far outclasses the rest of the Akatsuki. Okay. There's so, there's so much wrong with this. First of all, no, he was never a threat to Naruto and Sasuke. Sasuke at the time was incredibly exhausted. He was nowhere near at full power. And even then, he was doing his best to try to fight Shin while at the same time protecting Sarada. Okay, I mean, there are so many times in both of their fights where he is basically trying to fight him while at the same time worrying over Sarada's safety. The, uh, the the whole thing about him being a threat to the whole world, the thing is that that statement I, I kind of ignore because it doesn't really make a lot of sense because Naruto and Sasuke on their own could take this guy out easily, especially considering the power that they have. I mean, Shin is just, he's not that much of a threat. I'm sorry, but Shin is a joke compared to some of the other villains, if I'm being honest. Like, he's nowhere near a threat to, uh, to the world as Mara was. And again, something you guys have to remember is the uh the japanese do like to hyperbolize certain things so remember okay just to give you an example uh dragon ball look at dragon ball for example when cell showed up in the artificial humans arc i remember correctly he was i, I can't remember if this was in the anime or if it was in the manga i think it was in the anime where they stated when cell when perfect cell made a debut they made his debut they said a god of destruction was born Again, this is them hyperbolizing. Obviously, Cell is not a god of destruction. Beerus, Beerus is a god of destruction. Again, this is them hyperbolizing. So when you hear someone says Shin is a threat to the, to the whole world, well, you can sort of believe that. I don't think anyone really believes he's as much of a threat to the world as, let's say, someone like Mara was, as Pain was, especially considering the power that they had. So no, I, I, I personally wouldn't put Shin above Mara or Pain or obito no i i wouldn't i wouldn't say that's the case also the whole created a parallel universe with his own power that's not true that's not the case they went to another universe D he didn't create a parallel universe with his own power i don't know where the fuck they got this but this is just completely wrong the whole feared by kaguya yes that is indeed true i guess especially if you're talking specifically about like base madara even though they're using the picture uh but um I don't, yeah, this list is not good. The big, the big issue, like, I don't care about this nearly as much as I do about, uh, Orochimaru at four, Zetsu at five, and, like, like, all the, what? Are, Putting what Zetsu is above this? Pain what, and Itachi is, is just wrong. Here? That's just, I don't know, again. I think I've rambled on about this long enough. Let me know what you guys think, uh, in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Um, bye, everybody. <laughs> yeah.